thing didn't happen. March with us for the first our, time. Yeah. March with us on our March of Delusion. This is <laughs> the first time we are trying to film episode 132 of Music First Hands Comedians Interviewing Musicians. Um, my name is Becky Joe. I'm, I'm here with my beautiful, I'm talented, incredible co host, Kim Stacy. Um, I'm Kim Stacy. Yeah, she's Kim. That's her right there in the flesh, virtually, virtual flesh. And uh, we are here with the incredible band, uh, group, super group. Power family troop. I don't know. Uh, Madam Radar, formerly yeah. Texas Kids TV. Uh, they were episode Ooh. fifty for us, and now they are now mm -hmm. back eighty some odd episodes later. I think that's math. I can't remember. 80, um, Eighty-two. No. There we go. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, so give a virtual big ass round of applause for Madam Radar for joining us Woo! again. <laughs> uh, we adore you. Anytime. Absolutely. Like, honestly, especially um, our, our job is really cool that we get to meet a lot of people. But for real, when you do get to meet really, really awesome bands that you just like immediately vibe with, just feels good. Um, so thank you again for being here. Well, and we sorry love you for, back the... for having us. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. And uh, I apologize to anyone who was watching earlier and didn't get didn't. I couldn't see the comments because shit was messed up. So if you want to comment now, please do. We'd love to have you and uh, we're restarting. Um, or, well, how are you guys coping in quarantine? How are you doing? What have you been doing to hold up and We're keep yourself up. sane? Whoop. Do you, need, do you need to point somewhere? Just looking yeah. for baseballs everywhere. Maybe you never way. know. Baseball. <laughs> you, you two are talking right on each other. Because <laughs> we're buff and stuff. Nice. Yeah. Really... You guys been working out together? Yeah, we have been Six working out together. days a week. <sighs> Yay, audio no. all fixed. Good to see you, Tony. I think uh, the working out, I've definitely seen uh, you, uh, Kelly and Violet posting stuff. Um, the boys, you guys are doing P90X in your garage while the, what is with this weird, do you guys still have a intersex gym? Dan, uh, our tech wizard over there, introduced <laughs> me and Cody to P90X and we've been doing it. I mean, over 90 days for you guys now. I'm about to yeah. finish my 90 in this next week. Okay. So, yeah, we've been doing it for a couple months past that, but it was just like, I don't know. It's super cool. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a crazy workout for sure. <laughs> like, literally every day is still just as intense. <laughs> like, I feel better some days, but other days I'm just still ass kicked, ass kicked. <laughs> oh, I would admit, I mean, shit. Uh, That's how I like, feel without working out, so. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I ate a really big lunch, and I'm still paying for it. Um, no, I think it, maybe just, like, go down the line, like, starting with Violet. Like, what has been something you accomplished during quarantine or something that, I don't know, you're proud of? Maybe you're not proud of it. Who knows? Ooh, one proud, one not proud? Yeah, go for it. start on that end because I'm still working some stuff out. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll start with COVID. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Well, uh... I'm a nerd. I play D and D. Go ahead and make fun of me. Nerd. But, nerd. <laughs> but I've, I'm in Back. two different D and D games right now. And I don't know if you guys know, but there's a lot that goes into building and creating a character for that game. Like, I can feel like four or five days of creative writing, trying to figure out a person. You know, it's, I've been doing a lot of that <laughs> in my spare time. So is that the not that's proud so or the proud? <laughs> So that's your not proud. What are you proud of? I'm oh, really proud of burn. <laughs> working on my tan this weekend. I don't know. I look good. <laughs> <laughs> Cody just does six prouds. I'm just proud of myself. <laughs> oh, and Kelly? Funny. Yeah, uh, I have been writing a lot of new songs, so I'm proud of that. I'm I mean, the songs I enjoy, so not just songs, songs I enjoy, which is awesome, because sometimes I write stuff and I'm like, you're terrible, why did you do this to the world? Oh. Um, and something I'm not proud of, uh, I, I, I did have donuts, I ate like a box of donuts from uh, Krispy Kreme, and I didn't feel good, so that was something I was proud of. The one thing, <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> that's my life right now. <laughs> I am a donut. <laughs> it's like, I worked out all these days. I was like, cheat day. And we roll up to get donuts. And the guy was like, you know what? You can just have them all. He just gave us this massive box 
And I was like, this is awesome. Free donuts. Where did you go? Krispy Kreme. But it was like right when they were closing. So we just lucked out. But I just wanted like two donuts. And Oh, I how lot. rude. <laughs> I know. It was great. I'm so blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Love it. Thanks. You're um, Let's see. I'm, I mean, I'm definitely happy about the fact that we've all come together, working out, writing songs, getting way tighter as a band. So I feel like coming mm-hmm. out of this, we're going to be a couple steps ahead. But then I've also uh, discovered that there's a time counter on the video game that I play. And it's a little and? too high for the amount of time because you're like versus like sleep versus like okay, how much you is four thousand like, hours? Counts <laughs> way the number's way too high to be comfortable with. So, yeah. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna stop though. No, no. To be honest. No, don't be like. Why do? No, it says jumbled to... audio again. No, Tony, can I you hear us? Tony, can you hear me? Tony, Tony. Can... Tony. Tony. Tony, fight Winkler. It's my Winkler. I'm on my thing. Oh, Tim oh, Lupus said hi. It's good to see everyone online again. He's the owner of Drinks Lounge Yay. and Valoria. Oh, oh, baby, drinks. but fuck, that was the last. I know, I can't wait to go back for brunch. Oh my God. Oh. When the real world opens back up, brunch. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh my God. Thing. Hangover hash browns, bitch. Yeah. I'm never leaving what, what my house. What do you prefer again. to drink at brunch? But... Huh? What do you prefer to drink at brunch? Oh, I, okay. Even though I'm like really allergic to them, I love a Bloody Mary, but mm. I also will just like straight up, I don't, I, I'm Irish. It doesn't, it doesn't take a time of the day for me to be able to like drink whiskey. Because if we're being honest, I was probably drinking whiskey up until the hour that I was asleep. So you might as well just like. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Continue the See, trip. I was like, hey, as a baby, my uh, grandparents would rub the whiskey on the old guns there. Oh, yeah. Put me sleep. Make- I'm relying yeah. on the strength of God and whiskey here. So here we go. Um, yeah, everybody take a drink. Like- exactly. Let's just take a second. Thank you, Internet, for Cheers. being there. Cheers. Uh, and we love Madam Radar, so why don't we just hear a song? We've been yes. waiting an hour and a half. Let's hear a song. We play Two. songs. Or we That's can make them wait another hour and a half. Ooh. Just for dramatic effect. <laughs> we'll just hold this one Please chord play for an hour and a half. Freaking song. And then freeze Perfect. frame. Perfect. Three picks, if that makes any difference. Madam Radar. There's a, there's a bucket of picks over here next to me. Carolina, right behind you, I don't mind you. Carolina, Carolina, are you coming home to stay?
I mean, it's uh, no Jurassic Park, glasses. but Two fl are those flamingos? <laughs> yes. These are flamingos. Yes. Rockstar. Jim, come through. I'm Great. here for it. Actually, uh, yes, we are here with Madam Radar. Thank you so much again for being here. Um, so you were on episode 50. Now we're here at 132. There's been obviously we so much. Just, just little You're just babies. And Kim wasn't here yet. Like I wasn't even know? born yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's the real atrocity here. Yeah. <laughs> Go back I mean, in time, God bless Kim. Uh, but I thought, okay, I know Kim has this really, really great game planned for you, but I wanted, before we get to play this, I'm honestly a little bit more stoked for her game than my questions, but I have to ask them because I promised myself. But <laughs> I'm going to uh, do, like, follow-ups. Um, since the last time we've talked, uh, <laughs> Kelly... Uh, well, black, like, I think when I go see you perform live, one of the coolest things whenever I, I just see all of y'all together, like, obviously, as a band, uh, Kelly knows every single person in the like, it, she, it, I, I honestly thought she just knew everyone at Club One to One the first time I was there. I was like, oh, and then she was like, oh, no, they're just, she was just meeting people all the time. So I wanted to know, like, how different is it for you in quarantine not being able to like engage? Like personally, like has how has your approach to your fan base been different since isolation? It's been really weird. I'm definitely a people person. Um, I'm, I'm missing everyone. The first couple of weeks were actually kind of hard. I wasn't like depressed or anything, but I was definitely feeling like kind of you know down, missing that human connection. But then there was like a part of me that found out like just staying inside and, and not doing anything is fucking awesome. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to have to relearn how to be around people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, same. it's crazy. Cause it, you do like some, when you're, especially when you're on stage, like you have to give a lot of yourself to people. Do you find like it calming to just be able to sit in your house and be able to like play and not have to <laughs> engage? Oh, 100%. I do miss it though, but it's also nice just to yeah. exist and not like because for many people that you meet are, are incredible there's also like those energy vampires yeah. that just you're like man i want to be nice to you but god get away from me <laughs> <laughs> like, but i'll just be like it, oh, yeah. tell me more about your seven cats <laughs> please uh, okay yeah, i got the note that was thank a bad you example, kelly i would actually right. be really excited <laughs> <laughs> poor kim i heard that story too. Okay, if someone was right, talking about their seven cats i'd be like do tell <laughs> vigorously taking notes um okay violet i was following loosely the chip saga what happened with the chips i need to they know i'd like i've not seen the whole story they stopped coming. Well, what happened was I ordered some on Amazon 
and then uh, they just wouldn't stop coming and the chips, I mean. And uh, <laughs> I, and it was just starting to get really uncomfortable because I would check my bank account. Nothing more had been withdrawn from my bank account. Um, I, there was I would check my Amazon orders, and they just kept shipping. And actually what's funny is the other day I was cleaning out our laundry room. That's where we keep all of our snacks. And I noticed, I looked on the floor, and we had one, we were down to our last box, and it was almost gone. And I was like, yes, finally. And then I just happened to look up, and Dan had stored a whole extra box of them, like, on the top shelf of the uh, laundry room. And I was just, I just deflated. It was just one of those moments where I was like, I looked at it for a long time, like, oh, no. It was just really sad, because it, I thought that we were, that it was almost over, but it's not. What, what you had asked chips? earlier, what, what do I regret about quarantine? That was going to be my answer was those chips. I've probably eaten, like, <laughs> I'm not chips. even kidding, like 500 bags of those chips. I'm not, like, that's not a joke. So that's probably my biggest regret. <laughs> what kind of I chips mean, are they? Yeah. Veggie chips. They're like chickpea, like they have sweet potato, black bean. Um, oh, yeah. man. That's right, right, exactly. That's but like, no matter how healthy something is, I eat all the carrots. Anything in excess. <laughs> no matter how healthy something is, if you eat it, yeah, eat like 10 pounds of it a day, it's yeah. not doing you any favors. What if this is like the biggest beauty secret no one's ever figured out yet? Like, <laughs> if you eat 12 bags of veggie chips a day, you'll get like really nice, beautiful hair and your skin will just cease to be gross. It'll just, and your it'll be perfect. And crunch. What? <gasps> That's the payoff. The but crunchy chips. Come on, that's that's. She's saying good things. Like things. And I just want to counterbalance that. With huh? What's going to actually happen? Dave, you're taking huh? a scratchy shit. That's in that really fast disclaimer they throw at you at the end of the commercial. <laughs> Make hot scratchy shits. My like, follow-up oh, question for Cody is: How many bags of chips did you eat, and why are you telling the world about your scratchy shits right now? I had one singular bag of chips. They didn't give me any more than that. <laughs> I was actually kind of bummed. I wanted to go home with a box full, and I, I only got the one. Fair. Fair. Kelly's okay. hoarding all the chips I gave to her in their garage. Yeah, I have a box, yeah. and I've been saving them. I've been, like, eating them just a little at a time because I'm, I'm waiting for her to run out completely and then just eat them in front of her like, mm -hmm. yeah, I bet you miss these, don't you? But she won't order them now. again because she might it's get like 17 more plan. boxes. <laughs> It's a, a long con, if you will. Nice. Yes. Okay, um, Jace, my fault. My uh, question is, you've uh, started designing and like it, it, and modifying clothing, and it's yes. sick as shit. It is sick, mm -hmm. and you've been like dressing. And, like, I want to hear more about that shirt. Um, I just kind of fell into it. I wanted to start making some cool stage clothes for myself, and then... A few people liked what I'd sort of done, and I don't really know how. He wants to go on, but it's easier to talk. It's gonna continue, I guess, with what's happening lately because most of my stuff is, I guess, word of mouth, and people seeing it shows. But it's been a lot of fun just doing that and just making original stuff and finding ways to. I, I like I like walking into the room and feeling like I'm, you know, not to sound like a chick, I guess, but like I don't want to be dressed like somebody else. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. Whatever it means, but like, I don't want to. I don't want to be dressed like somebody else. And when I can roll yeah. into the room and, you know, or other people, the same thing. I, I imagine you want to come in and go. Well, with a world full of eight billion people, if I'm the one person that has this, I'm a rare, beautiful snowflake today. I guess. Yeah, so. I do believe that's called couture. <laughs> couture. It's a one yes. of a. It, yeah, you just that's no. well. I mean, he's working on a sweet jacket for Papa Ray right now. Yeah. Ooh. It looks so cool. I got to do some stuff for you guys. Yes. Hell, yeah. We've talked about it before, and I'm like, oh, when I can afford oh, yeah. you, I will pay you oh. so much money to dress me. I see a nice Lorraine the Train I was going to say, can we tell right. Lorraine the Train, wherever I, she may be, just that, <laughs> yeah. Lorraine needs yeah. a jacket. For sure. Yeah, she does need a jacket. It just says Thomas I'll the Tank Engine on the back, but with <laughs> Lorraine's face. Yes. Do we already have a design? Is that what we're doing right there? Is that what we're doing? I will do that shit. Be Becky, you just have to tell me what you want now. We'll do some jackets for stage. I want I, Lorraine I, the Train on a train. That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Matching Lorraine the Train jackets. <laughs> if if I can get um, a tube top made out of 
Violet's uh, leftover chip bags. That'd be yes. great. I'll I thought you were going to oh, say wait, Kelly's that armpit a, hair. Yeah, my armpit. That was a previous conversation. <laughs> Lined with Kelly's armpit hair so that way it's warm. You don't want the Yes, on. please. Thank you. So I can, yeah, I can wear it in the winter. Everyone loves a winter tube top. We, we just harvested, so we're good. <laughs> Oh, it's a joke from the top. technical difficulty series. That's so gross. That's so fucking gross. <laughs> Recycle. Oh, uh. oh, okay. My last and final follow up is for Cody. Mm-hmm. Cody, in episode 50, we were playing a suitcase. In episode 132, we we're playing in a closet. Well, sort of. I'm, we I'm also. A still playing my suitcase. <laughs> That's my kick drum. I just have my tambourine on it. It's there's no room in here for an actual drum set at all. Like I'm I'm playing just some brushes for some lightness. I have a snare at least this time, so that's an upgrade. But yeah, I'm I'm still beating the hell out of a suitcase. <laughs> so, my, you know, I guess my question is, if you could build no holds barred, there's no sound problems, no one's gonna get mad. What would your like dream drum setup be? Would it just be like that scene in uh, the I believe in a thing called love video, which is like a wall of amps. Yeah. Wall I, think, of... I think it would still be pretty basic, honestly. Like my my dream build would just three or four drums and you know like four or five fun cymbals. You know, I don't want to get too wild because I feel like if you can't do it on a like honestly, if I could just have a snare and a floor tom, if I can't do it on that, I'm doing something wrong to a degree. All you get is a snare and a suitcase. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, <anyway. laughs> If Next question. Ask anything, it would be a Samsonite. <laughs> that way you can be fired at any moment. Get your bags and get out of here. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, there's there's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just pack all my clothes into my drums. <laughs> <laughs> my drum. Okay, Kim. It is time. All right. Uh-oh. Who's ready to play? Let's is did Paris Hilton say it, or is it a terrible song lyric? Oh, nice. Oh, hey, oh. uh, during this Paris quarantine. Song lyric. <laughs> so I got uh, this wonderful book, um, Confessions of uh, an Heiress by Paris Hilton. Uh, and so I went through and I was like, wow, this writing is kiss the chef. <laughs> Give it. So then I said, you know what? Uh, we could also compare it to really bad song lyrics. So I'm going to read, uh, it's either going to be a Paris Hilton quote from her book, or it's going to be a terrible song lyric. So you need to let me know if it's a song lyric or Paris Hilton. Um, but to make it even harder, (laughs) to make it harder, I'm going to do the entire thing like Paris Hilton. Oh. So, queen. I'm me. going to do it in her voice. <laughs> All right. Mm. Are you ready to play? Yes. Can you put on a little more eyeshadow first. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. And let me take my top off. All right. <clears throat> right. Maybe that okay. night vision filter we can get. We'll save that for the <laughs> Patreon fans. Yes. Yes. Please. Okay. Thank you. All right. Always tell everyone what they want to hear. Then do what you want. That way, no one ever gets mad at you. Paris Hilton. That's Paris Hilton. That's got to be Paris it is, Hilton. It is Paris Hilton. It's rule number seven in her book of Man. how to be an heiress. I wanted that so badly to be an Avril Lavigne lyric. Uh, it does it sound honest, like one. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's a fucking coloring book, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a coloring book. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A lot of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can't forget to stay real. To me, it's like breathing. Ooh, that's a bad that's song, a song lyric. It's a bad song lyric. That's J Lo from Jenny from the Block. Yes. Hey. Yep. Why did I know that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if you do you know the me? song lyric, please say you know who it's from. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't know that. But if you read anything in Paris Hilton's voice, it totally sounds like her. <laughs> Yeah. Right? It, it, trust me, it gets scarier. I okay. Like there. <laughs> I am become death. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> Cut.
because space was just a word made up by someone who's afraid to get too close. It's a That's song because I like it. A song, yeah. It's... That's got to be a song lyric. It's She's a not song. That it's What's by Nick like? Jonas, and, and it's I called Close. That. The song is super problematic, but it is very pretty melodically. Yeah. It's like it's, it's basically you it's like have to a look gas off camera lighting, like, if that was true. <laughs> it was like don't leave me ever, but Bitch. it sounds pretty. It's a oh, gross okay. gas lighting song. It just sounds Don't be so clingy, Jonas. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh you're, you're married to pre. Oh, fuck you. Your wife is infinitely hotter than you. You're fine. Like, yeah. you know. Oh, no. I think he's cute. Okay. Yeah, but he's not as hot as Bianca Sharper. Are you kidding me? He's so <laughs> cute. Right. Are we Jonas Brother Wait. bashing right now? What's happening? No. Yes. Welcome to the party. I mean, open season. Lo- this podcast is called Comedians like, Berating the Jonas sure Brothers. I can jump on the floor without well, making anybody Well, again, my last episode. Okay. Change your mood like you change your clothes. That's gotta be Paris well, Hilton, right? I think that's a song lyric. It's a song. I'm going song lyric. Song lyric. I'm going a song by Paris, Paris Hilton. <laughs> Kelly was right. It's by Paris. Hey. Paris Hilton. Oh. I drink. What? Is- <sighs> that's right. She I for sure song. thought she's killing it. That sounds like a song. Like a shitty Maroon 5 song or something? <laughs> yeah. Right? They probably got it from her book. <laughs> <laughs> Who's right. the real influencer? <laughs> okay. Right. Page six. War. War is stupid. And people are stupid. Is that also Paris? Paris. <laughs> is that Nicki Minaj? That sounds like a fucking dumb song lyric when someone equally is dumb. It sounds like a punk rock band. So kind of they're... divided. Yeah, yeah. We got is a couple Paris, for Paris. Is it Paris Hilton's punk band? I think we two, we're saying it's song lyric. They're saying. Uh, okay. It's from Culture Club. Oh, there we go. The War Song. Okay. There you go. Is that yeah. Boy George Culture Club? I thought you were going to say, <laughs> yeah. War? Yeah, what is it a good for? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. I'd love to hear I'll say it again. Shakespeare as Paris Hilton, to be honest. Violet, your really fucking Paris impression is on point. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Everything's a question. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> be born into the right family. Choose your chromosomes wisely. That's Paris Hilton because she's insane. That's some gross eugenic shit. What the hell is that? Nice. Yeah, right. That's what happens when both and your parents also, are I'm blonde, Nazi. blue-eyed, creepy people. Okay, <laughs> I have one blonde, blue-eyed, creepy parent. Good. Welcome so to comedian <laughs> destroying Paris Hilton. Okay. I think so, it's Paris Hilton. I'm going to go with Paris Hilton because that sounds uh, like crazy I, I elitist shit. Maybe song. I feel like that could be a weird. Uh, it's Paris, Paris Hilton. Hey, that's How her number she... one rule. Make sure number you your one rule. Because she thinks it's a mall that when you show up as a baby before you come into the world, you can just choose all your things. It helps. It's yeah, her that's number <laughs> one rule. Number one rule: how to be an heiress. All right, to be I'll give you a couple born. More. <laughs> you have you, you you control be on what family you're uh, born into, so choose your chromosomes. And also, you if you didn't know that, then you didn't get to heir. read this book in the womb, idiot. Uh, okay. Gross. And I know you love Shrek because we've watched it twelve times. Oh, no. song lyric. Song. No. Song lyric. Is yeah, it's Ed Sheeran. Wake me up. There you go. Okay. This dude wow. is was so good in Game of Thrones. That was that was equally <laughs> as painful as anything Paris said. Single-handedly ruined Game of Thrones God. for me. Okay. I don't want to cuss on this. I don't want you know what. I don't want, I'm good. We shouldn't have played this game if you didn't want to cuss. Okay. <laughs> Hold on to sixteen as long as you can. Changes come around real soon. That's a song. song. Yeah. That's, uh, Jack and Diane. By yeah. John that's, like, that's like John Cougar. 
Melanie Kelly. <laughs> that video is the best. It's just like John's photography. John the Cougar Summer Camp or whatever his name is. John yeah. the Cougar Summer Camp. Summer Camp. Fake playing all the instruments. I'm pretty sure it's Summer Camp. Right. Oh, I'm not saying. Here's, <laughs> here's our last one. Never, ever wake up before 10. Never go to bed before 3. That's that's a Paris I think that's Hilton life. a Violet Leo if, quote. If, if you're a Hilton, you can keep those kind of hours. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because check-ins at ten and checkouts. You know, <laughs> six at it. Yeah, you know, or passing outs at three a.m. <laughs> yeah. So check-ins at ten. Yeah, mentally. Becky <laughs> Joe's gonna have a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Paris Hilton. It's Paris Hilton. Hey, there you go. That's rule That's number six. Yeah. yeah. She, how also, how this have? is the song lyric by Liz Fair, but I just want to say it in Paris Hilton's voice. I'll fuck you till your dick is blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Why did she say midnight that? in Paris. It was great. It was like, so but there you go. Is it a song, terrible song lyric, or is it from Paris Hilton? Well you guys done. did good. Yay, Kim! Yay! Thank Excellent you so game. much for listening. That's hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, you should sing Shakespeare in that voice. It would be fucking amazing. <laughs> All the characters. Eddie Murphy, exactly. that shit. That's who, Bert's high. To be <laughs> or not to be? That's the question. What's this? A dagger that stands before me? <laughs> I'll pick on both your houses. And put yeah, it on both your houses. Words. She'd have to spell out the bigger words. There's no... <laughs> Please join us uh, oh, next duh, week. Duh, got it. Can join us next week for our podcast where Kim and I just read Shakespeare as dipshit. As the, the simple life ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole Richie and Barcelona. Somebody get yeah, I'm a Nicole Richie stand, stand, but that's fine. Um, do you want to hear two songs from Madam? I Rita? do want to hear two songs. Yes, please. Let's Wait, do we it. Know how to play songs. Yeah. <laughs> what if half of us played one song while the other half played another? We could try Perfect. it. The audio is warbling again. No, the audio is not working. Kumbaya. Technical difficulties.
Hell yeah, thank you. Can't pepper Ooh. rizzle. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It looks like we must have lost Kim. I wonder if. Oh, geez, hey. Oh, oh no. my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. I'm going to cry. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so, I'm going to cry. Oh, Kelly, I'm so happy to be here. We are in the presence oh. of a legend. Oh, oh right, man, I'm right here. Hi. Oh, I've been standing <laughs> outside for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I Just know, you know how it's place. <laughs> oh, Lorena, oh. thank you so much for being here. I, I understand uh, you wrote in earlier and said that you might have some questions for our band tonight. I know that you must be really excited. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. I just, I, 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 I loved you when you were the Texas KGB and I love you when you're the Madam Radar and I love you when you're eating casserole in my kitchen. Any way you want, I love y'all. <laughs> That's just so, <laughs> just so good. Oh yeah, that that's a good song. Yeah. Oh, I I have a question for all you. First of all, it's just so good to see all your faces, and I just hope you're all doing so good. You look so cute. It's true. I'm, I'm like in shock. I just I don't even say. Lorraine. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I wanted to ask questions. Um. Okay. So first off. Uh, Jace, okay, uh, I know that you've been doing a lot of design work, and then I heard that you wanted to maybe design me something. I would love to make you a jacket. Oh. Wow. Lorraine, the train. The train, the train. Oh, my gosh. So what are we thinking here on, on the jacket? Sparkles head to toe. Absolutely. Did you see my New York hat there? I did. I've seen it. Gorgeous. Thank you so Something much. To, we need to make you a jacket to match, right? All the way down. Oh, absolutely. I would love to wear a jacket. Something breathable, though, because I do okay. a lot of jacking. So something with some movement. Yeah, um, and also maybe because uh, of my glutose. So maybe somewhere for my snacks. Got so it. lots of packing. pockets for snacks. Yeah. Done yeah. And done. That would be great. I would love that. And if um, we could have matching jackets, I would appreciate that. Triple done. <sighs> That's what I'm going to wear in your next music video because I assume I'm going to be in it. Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. Love to do Front and you got to be doing train the... music video. <laughs> Just me. Lorraine, Just the train in the background. Soon. Oh. 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 Gosh, that was beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could feel steam coming out of everything. Okay, so That's Cody why she needs the breathable jacket. Yeah, need the breathable. Um, so you and I are running away together. Okay. Yeah, as long as it's via train. Oh, <laughs> that's my my only transport that I have. Uh, what are three things that you would bring with you when we run away? Uh one set of fuzzy handcuffs for me uh, no keys yeah. definitely um absolutely a yeah. jumbo crate box of mac and cheese also for me you can have some if you want you can eat it off of my stomach while i'm handcuffed and last but not least a masseuse table for which i could be handcuffed to wow but up this in the air a, that's really is hot in here who's hot are you, Can you bring me though? Here. I'm bringing one snacks, two snacks, three snacks. That's what I'm bringing, Lorraine. I'm going to go hey. with Kelly. <laughs> Let's go. You want to eat mac and cheese out of my butt? Snacks. Snack <laughs> train. Snack <laughs> train. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, so, Kelly, uh, my question is for you. We are both, I think, sweet ladies. I think we're both nice ladies. Now, I would love to do something with you, like maybe like a podcast or like um, just, you know, like a YouTube channel or something that ladies who lunch and everything, would that be something that you're interested in? Sign me up. <laughs> oh, <gosh. Yes. laughs> with the, what would be the first topic nice on off. our table? We oh, could talk about nice anything. Off. Oh, gonna... nice off. Yeah, see how many good compliments we can get out. Like, your hair looks really nice today. 
Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I was gonna say that about you. I like the little buns that you've got going on. You like thank you. you look like a little spice. Like a little spice thank girl. You. Thank you. I see. I, I forgot how cute my hair was because I was I was focused on your fanny pack and your strut today is just glorious. Fanny Thank life. You so much. I know. I Why just found it. Too? I just found it. <laughs> I don't even know where. See, that's what Jason um, used to make you. Matching fanny oh, pack to your jacket. The train fanny packs. That's what I mean. We've been talking to uh, the the girl pack. So we've been talking to pack and saying that you need fanny packs. That's for your merch. I love it. So You're right. I wouldn't I wouldn't say no to a Madam Raider fanny pack. pack That's all I'm saying. Pack line. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> um, okay, so Violet, my my last question is for Violet. So you get a lot of weird requests from fans. And I think that now it's time for a fan to do something weird for you. So I'm going to give you two choices. I can either send you lots of pictures of me doing weird things in the mail. Or we kind of did a little earlier. I can do a dance just specially for you right now. Dance. dance, dance. First of all, I, so I don't have my camera on right now. So I've, somebody please let me know if I'm oh, talking to Lorraine or Dan. Because... <laughs> Just so you know, I can't tell the difference between the two of you. <laughs> what a compliment. Um, I'll definitely opt for the dance. Okay. All right, Madam Reader. Could you okay. give me a little beat? Thank you so Honestly. much. Night made. Thank you. Well, Ooh. I definitely still send you pictures just in case. <laughs> sure, let's do that for sure. I Shame. wish I had a tiny train set, which I really should get one. But that's what you said on the last podcast that you were on uh, number fifty. You said if you can, you know, just uh, stamp all over a train set, I do that for you. <laughs> she would. She actually that's one of my favorite Violet that. stories. It's too good. Well, that's, that's all my questions. Uh, but oh, uh, Becky, George, did you say that you were going to play a game? Because I'd love yeah, to be part of the too, game. Uh, Lorraine, yeah, I love you. you. Okay, great. Let me get a chair. Oh, I'm absolutely okay, so famished. I know that uh, <laughs> Lorraine just rewatched the episode where the KGB was on, but I thought since we did the rebranding and the new name, we're going to uh, Madam Radar. Do you know your bandmate? But this time I'm not going to have a full blown heat stroke because I'm not under the lamp lights of the velvet room. <laughs> and I'm not going to be able to just completely forget how the English language works. Um, I just would like to, uh, I'm going to pinpoint, I'm going to ask each one of you who is most likely to, and then individually you will give me your answer. The person that you accuse of said things can respond if they want to. But there's no bullshit math this time. It's just I'm going to ask you who's who. Uh, all right. Violet, who is most likely out of Madam Radar to kill somebody? Mm. Probably Jace. <laughs> <laughs> and why? Crazy as a I'm very irritable <laughs> and like I hate stupidity. Your little he, sister's well, quote earlier, I was like, "Fuck yeah." <laughs> he's the only. I wish person I could preface everything of, I say with that. He's the only person out of all of us that actually knows how to use a firearm. <laughs> oh, fair. So I was, I was just being logical. That's fair. That makes sense. Yeah. But it's I not mean, a fart gun. I like that. <gasps> Which is. 
Equally as dangerous. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Especially Violet after all deadly. that mac and cheese that Cody and I are eating. Oh, wow. oh gosh. Dan, be <laughs> quiet. We're trying to do a show. Yeah, oh, damn. Shut up for just a minute, brother. That's fair. Okay. Sorry, Lorraine. Um, I'm just making fun of the fact that um, Dan is such a Wisconsinite, and your accent is so perfect. Um, I did. I, I don't know if this is a good time to let him know that he's my son. We can discuss that later. Hello. 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 Who is most likely to say fuck it and start a food blog? Kelly. For sure. I know Kelly's the cook. Don't you like cook? You, you, I know you cook Trigger's meals. Yeah, he gets to home cook everything. It's ridiculous. My brother well, and I both love to cook, and Violet is actually an unreal cook herself. Oof. Yeah, we need to do like a dinner together. I don't cook shit. Yeah, you, oh. cereal is too many steps from it. Sir. I'm just being honest. He's for real. If <laughs> well, I, I well, me, he did make me breakfast in bed the other day and it was sweet because it was like strawberries and coffee. And I was like, this counts. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's romantic. That's Kelly and I, we could start a food block together for a ladies' luncheon. Oh, do you just want to go eat food around the city and talk about it? Because I am so down. Absolutely. <laughs> Yes. Talking okay. and eating are my favorite things. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not do both? Some people are really pissed about that, but there's a corner of the internet for everybody, so fuck right. it. Um, Kelly, who is most likely to start a bar fight? Violet. <laughs> oh, that was quick. <laughs> I once saw her win. hear the question yeah. yet. I would always. I, I would agree with that too. Violet's like, show habeas corpus, Trigger. bitch. Present the body. Who? How? Has this happened before? I yes. <laughs> and no, it's because she's dangerously pretty. No. And men, men not just he can't handle it. No, not here. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm not as, no I'm not, not very nice to people if I don't like them. And I'm not very good at not telling them that. Honestly, honest. really loud when I'm drunk. She's well, honest. fuck being polite to people. That's how people get kidnapped. <laughs> no. So if you were like, who's most likely to get kidnapped? That'd be me. <laughs> no, I'm also I've like that. Is that a kitty in the van? <laughs> I've witnessed Violet stealing a golf cart before from the moon tower. <laughs> Oh. Rules don't yeah. mean that. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite story. I watched I the guy just go, happened. oh, could. But, you, Can you all back? stop her? And we went, no. I was like, you <laughs> stop her. <laughs> you want to, isn't it's it my your job? job to stop her from stealing the fucking... Are you getting paid for that? <laughs> I'm not. I was like, no, Violet, don't drive. Okay, whatever. Okay, now let Violet speak for herself. <laughs> I'm sure there's I a good reason. I don't know why I stole the golf cart, to be honest. I think it was just because I wanted to see if I could. Fireball. <laughs> and then I did. The fireball probably had a lot to do with it. But I felt so bad because that guy got in so much trouble. <laughs> he did get in trouble. I mean, but it. He looked at y'all like she was. You were babysitting her or something. And that it wasn't yeah. his job to keep track of the goddamn golf cart. Exactly. And so I think she literally just looked at him like, "I'm just gonna borrow this for a second." <laughs> I just popped in and started it up. I was like. Okay, joyriding. Oh, yeah. Just keep loading up the van. Just keep <laughs> the van. No, that dude I, got in trouble happening. for a good reason. He got in trouble yeah. for a good. There's no. You He's taking that golf cart was the That's best thing that happened. I don't blame Violet for that. No. Testing the boundaries. She's like a velociraptor. <laughs> da, na, na, na. <laughs> if I could run in it. Or tie in a running theme. Yeah, we, we're all about Jurassic Park here. Bringing families together and Jurassic Park. That's what Music for Sand all about. Um, Cody, who's the biggest crier? Uh, probably me. <laughs> I'm a very sensitive man. And I get Aww. irritated and frustrated easily. 
And sometimes Kelly has to be like, hey, you're being a dick. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I really don't mean to be. <laughs> One Anybody time, I, 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 like, I broke a stand mid, like, mid setting up, and I was so pissed, and I was like throwing stuff. And then I accidentally knocked over a chair while I was turning over, and Kelly was like, hey, you know it would be hilarious? If that was accidentally like a, a dwarf and you accidentally kicked them in the head and knocked them over. And that just broke me and just made me laugh. And suddenly I was in a good mood. <laughs> well, he drop kicked this thing that I was like, if he didn't know if it was there. I was like, if that would have been a person, just a short man <laughs> standing, like, you know, the guy from fucking uh, Game of Thrones. If he just happened to cut, walk up like, hey, I'm just having a drink. <laughs> Nobody messes Poor Danny DeVito. <laughs> I was thinking uh, Peter Dinklage. Danny that's DeVito name. wasn't in Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. That that's not the one we've been in. I want to see an entire recut of that show with Danny and all of Tyrion's scenes. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, Lorraine, are you not a Game of Thrones fan? I thought that's what I was watching. <laughs> oh. But apparently I was watching something completely you different with Danny DeVito. A bunch of teenagers. Yeah, it was. I don't know. It was him and Arnold Schwarzenegger. I thought that yeah, was. That's, that's twins. Oh gosh, that happened again. There I go. I know, right? Oh, this dog. I swear. Right. Um, Violet, who is most likely out of Madame Radar to start a cult? Good question. I have to say probably Jace. Ooh. But we but we would start it together. That's what I said. Yeah, just because his online what gaming the... presence is so large and he already kind of has his own cult on Ga Grand Theft Auto, which I recently joined and Dan recently joined and that's eaten up hours and hours and hours. In fact, last time, I, or the last, I was on there till seven o'clock in the morning one time. Oh my gosh just stealing so come cars cult. come hang out stealing cars hanging out no at one point we literally just sat down on chairs as our characters and just talked for like two hours but on the game. oh my gosh that sounds really time i that mean why not nice. yeah i love it. okay I so, like so probably that. jace <laughs> jace has gamer okay. cult jace uh, or his or, or, or Cody's mustache cult, one of the other. Oh, nice. duh. Mm -hmm. Or Cody's facial sacrifice shaving video cult. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how they come to the church. It's a blood sacrifice. Of Cody. They come His out and epidermis go, died for our for sins. Us. He gave yeah. for us. Uh -huh. You gotta cut down a few layers of skin to get to the baby soft, smooth skin. Yes, to get to the purity. Um, yeah. Jace? Who is most likely to have obnoxious Christmas lights up all year round? Which I did not plan this before said, I also am covered in obnoxious Christmas lights. That's my entire it's respect. It's me. I'm probably Kelly. I love Christmas lights. I know. Oh my gosh, I like Violet, my favorite. Halloween lights. Humbugs when it comes to all that stuff. And Kelly She's, if it was Halloween decorations, it would be her. Fair. Y'all, no. Everyone's gonna know she's grumpy. You just whispered it into the microphone. You can't be like, no. <laughs> actually, actually, I do keep um, Halloween no. decorations up year round. Why not? Ooh. She has a Halloween tree. Oh, that's Don't true. Like that. But what Don't about the nightmare before shit. Christmas? That's the both. That's both of them. <laughs> I do love that movie, and I watch it during Halloween and Christmas. Yeah. See, there you go. Great movie. There it it's is. a holiday film. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Uh, my last question is for Kelly. Who out of all of you is most likely to date Lorraine? All of you are taken individuals, but who is most likely to have dated uh, it's Lorraine? It's probably a toss-up between me and Cody. <laughs> Actually, I'm, throwing, I'm throwing my name in the hat for that. Oh, my we gosh. We all want a little Lorraine. Yes, uh, here, Lorraine. Lorraine. On the, Lorraine. On the train on Lorraine. <laughs> Violet's already dating me because uh, I'm already Dan's dating my a son. Lorraine. Absolutely. She's already dating my son, so there it is. It's the same thing. So I will, uh, I don't think it will be weird at all <laughs> to be in a three way relationship 
you know, four way relationship. This is what you sound like, Dan. <laughs> Dan, do you I hear me in your thoughts? This is your conscience. Dan, do you hear me in your thoughts? You're a oh. bright, beautiful young man, and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Jeez, Why Christ. did you abandon Dan, Loren? What a great podcast this way. Thank you so much for having me in. Okay. On that That's note, so great. we hear one more song from Madam Radar. Uh, uh, please. Virtual round of applause. Lorraine, we love you. Thank you for being I here. I love you all so much. Thank you so much. Oh. 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 Was oh. Or uprising? I'm asking. I'm already changing, so we're going to go with this. <laughs> Whiskey eyes? Yeah. So this is a brand new song that uh, is not has not been recorded. No, that Kelly wrote, and it's so much fun, and I'm super excited. <laughs> and it goes to all of our fans, particularly our fans in Spicewood, Texas, because they are a special breed of party and fun. <laughs> For real.
string chords. Are That's gonna... a challenging little tune. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. That's so awesome. As soon as you guys started playing, the back like leapt up on my lap, and she was like, "We are hanging out now. It's happening." We're doing it now. <laughs> there. <laughs> Uh, thank you again so much for being here. Uh, we'd just like to give another thank you to our patrons and our sponsors. Um, sorry about the technical difficulties. Hope this master mix of whatever the hell three combo shows we did <laughs> is fun. I don't know. Um, we broke the internet. And, right? Why not? Why the hell not? We are the new Beyonce. Um, Kim, thank <laughs> you for being my co-host and my first lover, and I love you very much. Thank and you. Uh, I want to thank Madam Radar so, so much for handling all this bullshit <laughs> technical difficulties, but for always providing an amazing show. You guys fun. have always been so kind and great to us. Thank you. Well, we get to hang out with you guys, which is always fantastic. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Yes. <laughs> all day. Yeah. Uh, all right. No, we really appreciate you. And how can people find you on the internet? Tell people how to... Uh, check yeah. you out and stalk you virtually well the best way yeah, is to head on over to madamradar.com but you can follow us on facebook twitter and instagram at my at my <laughs> at madam radar music sorry the delay is so hard <laughs> and we also all. sorry go for it we do have a facebook live show every saturday night at 7 p.m until uh things get back to normal and it's a lot of fun we do we, we also play silly games and we give away cool prizes and we make handmade auction items every week and it's just a really good time and we have something for everybody so check that out it's through our madam radar facebook uh -huh. page every saturday at 7 p.m central, central time, time. perfect Woo. thank you so much um also, if you had a good time tonight, please Venmo, uh, PayPal, Madam Radar for their three and a half hour long services here. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to play this music for you. So please Venmo tip them. This uh, world is insane, but we can always do a little better to support people around us. Um, please Venmo and PayPal them. If you had a good time tonight and you want to continue watching our show, please consider joining us on Patreon. Um, I, I, yeah, this... The world is nuts. We are constantly looking for something positive to entertain ourselves with. And uh, so just check in with your local artists. Be supportive. That's all we ask. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well said. Yeah. We love you. Episode 132, people. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Love you too. We love you guys.